On a recent episode of Chibo Twitter, we explored a fast-rising spot known as eSports. Today, we're going to explore another rising global spot known as Pickleball. This is a new phenomenon combining the skills of tennis, badminton, table tennis and a bit of squash. So, to help us learn more about this game, we're actually going to meet a renowned sportsman, Muhammad Faisal Othman, who's, who's now heading ESM Picketball, and he is going to share with us insights into this fast-growing game. I'm going to try myself a bit of this game to see how much I like it, and who knows, you're going to pick it up too after watching this episode. So please join us on this episode of Chubo Chirita. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day everyone. Welcome to this latest episode of Chubo uh, it's, it's one of those occasions when we decided to actually host our interview outdoors because we are at the ESM Pictures Arena at the University of Malaya. It's one of these fast-growing sports venues uh, where it's uh, housing a newly growing sport known as Picketball. And uh, our guest on today's episode is a renowned pickleball player who was a former tennis player, also a footballer. Uh, and I, you know, I'm very happy that we're, we're here with his team today to interview him. Uh, his name is Sadara Faisal Osman. Assalamualaikum Faisal. Assalamualaikum. Welcome. Thank to you. Much. Thank you so much for, uh, for making time. It's a Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can see behind us there are all the public uh, playing you know uh, this this sport i don't really have a clue much about this sport i'm a former tennis player and you know, i play badminton and such but pickleball has been intriguing my my thoughts uh we'll, we'll come to that lepas ni tapi as you know faizal um cuba cerita ni is about the individuals so maybe to start um just introduce quickly uh your your friends together who are together with us today other than yourself you have Okay, all right. Uh, first of all, thank you to Chuba uh, And then I'll introduce my team. Uh, so Azairi uh, is a CEO of ESM. Okay. And also the general manager of ESM Pictures Arena. Okay. And we have our player and also the coach ah. in our club here, Melina Huang. Melina Huang, okay. yes. Uh, and then myself, okay, okay. Uh, as a founder this ESM Pictures Club. Nice, yeah. nice. It's a lovely place. And you, it's huge. I never realized, uh, you know, there's so many courts up here and all of them are outdoors. So Faisal, um, you know, I alluded to the in, in the intro to this podcast that, you know, you are a former national tennis player. You, you qualified for the ATP 250 tour. Uh, you've played football at a competitive level. You coach, you, you are in sports um, promotion and all that. Tell, can you just tell us a bit more about your background? Um, asal usul daripada mana? Memang datang daripada keluarga yang bersukan and all that? Yeah. Okay, actually, <coughs> I born in Negeri Sembilan. Mm -hmm. But ni besarkan di tengah ni. Oh, okay. And then, yes, my my father used to be a national sepak takraw player. Oh. And then my brother... Siapa nama dia? Uh, Osman, Osman Abdullah. Oh, Osman okay. Abdullah, mashallah. And then uh, my brother also is a Tengganu cyclist. Oh. Uh, so memang kita datang dari the family. Yang bersukan lah. Bersukan. Ha. Hmm. And then yeah, I start play tennis when I'm eight years old. Mm -hmm. So after that, I continue my tennis journey. Mm. Uh, and then been selected in the in, uh, National Tennis Academy in that time. Wow. And then after that, I represent them. National mm -hmm. for Malaysia mm -hmm. for our country 2006 to 2009. Oh, and I then see. after that, I focus on my coaching career mm -hmm. in overseas from yes. 2010 to 2015. Yes, yes. Yeah. Then, lepas baru yang tergerak untuk bawa pickleball. Ah, itu yang nak dengar tu. So, I I have heard there's uh, you know this growing fascination in the country lah pickleball. Tapi pickleball ni sebenarnya dah lama sebenarnya kan. Dah lama. 1965. 
Oh lama dah Lama dah dekat US Dekat US yeah. So uh, we picked it up here Kita di Malaysia ni 2019 Okay Bermulanya di Sarawak Oh Sarawak Ya yeah, bermulanya di Sarawak Dan tahun demi tahun Is uh, Is growing Okay Is growing Ya yeah. So maybe I mean as a usul mungkin lah it would have been maybe someone who came back from the states who who like this spot and maybe set up their own court and because I mean we can talk about the dimensions later tapi it, it's a it's something that you really need to have the right equipment you need to have the court you need to have the net kan dahlah dengan cuaca kita lagi kan yeah. so it's, you really need to do it well lah kan betul kita mm. kena ada plan mm. and then macam Sarawak pun dulu mm -hmm. masa Uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2009 tu, mm. there's a uh, two of uh, two good friend. Mm -hmm. They start main dekat one of the apa ni dalam kebun dia. Oh, okay. Dalam kebun dia. Okay, oh. and then after that, but they they both is a tennis player. Oh. Okay, so they orang start and then they okay. orang grow the sport in Sarawak. Okay. And they they did well. Okay. In Sarawak also okay. they did well with the pickleball. Ah. Uh, okay. Your hat. Malaysia okay. mm. yeah. So Faizal You know I know you have been in ESM itself Is a is a sports promotion company You've been involved in football You've been involved in tennis um, Apa yang rasanya tergerak hati Faizal nak I mean you obviously saw picket ball mm. But what is it about picket ball Yang mula-mula Faizal rasa macam tergerak, tergerak hati To really say This is something that I'd like to involve myself at you know even now to where oh. you are today. Apa yang rasanya yang ni? Okay, uh, first I uh, introduced by one of professor, my good friend. Okay. Uh, last year August, uh, and then he invited me to join the pickleball tournament. Oh. And then after that, for two days tournament, then I played, and then I feel that Malaysia need this sport. Oh. Kenapa tu? This is something yang the sport that can go far okay. and then can because pickleball is easy to learn easy to learn okay and then the court size also is not that big mm. 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 it's the same size with mm. badminton court mm -hmm. and then and then I feel that they can be a trend mm. new sport trend in Malaysia mm. that's mm. why uh, me and uh, Azari and my team mm. We discuss mm -hmm. and then I think let's let's start with the new thing in Malaysia. So you so you are the type of person I guess so much. You like something. You you don't just play it, mm -hmm. but you actually want to you know build an arena for for this sport. Yeah? Betul. Apa mm -hmm. apa motivasi? What what you know what what is it that that makes you? I mean, lain lah juga kalau you have been playing it for years and. You have got, uh, you know, orang kata apa, uh, a business ambition. But this is why very fast you decided this is the thing to go. Apa yang tegak hati itu? Tegak hati is because, okay, uh, as a former athlete, uh -huh. I want to see the sport, mm -hmm. any sport, to grow in our mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. So, that's why before kita buka ni pun, uh, me, uh, and then, My partner Azari and the team also mm. and kita buat research and study mm. I think Malaysia needs this kind of sport mm -hmm. sebab uh, satu we have a lot of talent in Malaysia mm. actually mm. Mm. right mm. so this sport also mm. can go can reach to can go, to the can go sampai Olympic right? yeah uh, why not one day can go sampai eh? Olympic right so yeah. I rasa sukan ni yang kita membuatkan uh, kita betul-betul nak because sukan ni is merangkumi semua umur kan mm, mm, right? mm. macam dekat sini pun visitors kita pun yang datang mm. pun daripada umur yang muda sehingga mm. ke umur yang atas mm. semua kan jadi there's mm. something yang mm. make us mm. to motivate yeah. to do it and I think dari segi um caliber of sports in the country I mean badminton we are world class squash we are also world class yeah. kan tennis maybe not so you yeah. know tapi maybe pickleball is the next world class sport that Malaysia can be proud of good eh betul mm. insyaallah memang in fact baru-baru ni I know you also are now 
um, leading the national team? We have our pro professional team. So this is a professional team, full-time yes. players? Full-time players and they are, we are the first and the only now because okay. the players also have their, we have a contract with us. Wow, with yeah. ESM? With ESM. Oh. With ESM. So and Bao Bao I understand they represented the country in the Asian Open in, in Vietnam. Yep. Kita and we won, we won titles? We won title one gold, one silver, one bronze, and yeah, then man. we also achieve our goals in the men's and men's nineteen and men's thirty five category. Oh, so yeah. age are the category, lah. Yeah. Wow. And well then done. open category also. Oh. Yeah. So and this is the first time competing. That is our first tournament international. Mashallah. Yeah. Well done. So yeah, kita ada lagi lah tournament international. And this is all across Asia. Open is an Asian Open. Yeah. Is Asia wow. Open Pickleball okay. Championship 2024. Wow. Fantastic, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. So it's a good sign, a good start. Huh? Good start. <laughs> All yeah. right. Okay, so um, can you tell us a bit more about, you know, I see you've built a, a lovely arena. This is huge. You've got, what, how many, I can't remember how many courts, maybe like 10, 12 courts? We have 13, 7 courts outdoor and seven court 6 outdoor. indoor courts, right. which is the 6 indoor court we convert from the Bintan Court. Oh, yeah. And these courts are open to public to open come along? To public. You have to book, book online, I guess, yeah? Yeah, so for now, we book a uh, manual okay. uh, through our customer service. Oh, customer service. And then uh, soon, hopefully, uh. next week, kita dah start dengan online booking system. And then okay. we are oper uh, we are operate from 7 a.m. Mm. to 11 p.m. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Maybe um, I'd like to pose some questions to Ajay and um, Mel. You, you yourself have a, a former tennis player also. Yes, I and do play tennis and okay. badminton previously. Okay. And you know, you, you know, tell us a bit more. You, you yourself um, competed. You, you played competitively. I'm sure you, you're still good at tennis. And, and what made you? switch to, to pickleball? It's the passion and the addiction of the game actually. Really? Yeah, okay. so when I was first introduced to pickleball, mm. I actually have no idea about it and mm. one of my friends just asked me, just come and play with us, we'll provide you the paddle, we'll provide you everything you need, just bring yourself in that sense. So, mm. And I never looked back since then and the fact how, that How long I, ago was that? That was about a year ago. A year ago, so yeah. very recent, eh? Yeah, very recent. Oh, okay. So I brought my family into it as well. My daughter plays as well. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, so she basically, um, she also caught the wave of it as well. And, yeah. and I like the sports because it brings in not only um, the fun in the game, but you get the social part of it as well. Mm. Where mm. you get to meet so many people yeah. from different ages group as yeah. well as internationally mm. you get players coming in from US from Europe and everywhere yeah. and they come in and they actually connect with us and say where can we play mm. where can mm. we play with you you know mm. things like that so mm. that's really good and mm. and the great thing about it is that you actually have an age group ranges from really young like mm -hmm. even 13 years old right mm -hmm. up to 80 years old playing the game mm. so it's really so that's, good it's good Tell me something, you know, I know maybe if you pick up other sports, even actually maybe tennis, um, you need to really have, you know, a lot of patience obviously because it's a, it's a much more physical game, I think, tennis, eh? for, especially for those who are starting out. And you know how it is, sometimes, you know, you, to get a tennis court, to play, maybe it takes a bit longer to learn. What was your experience picking up pickleball for the first time? Well, you, you can say it's a quite an easy game to play. Mm -hmm. of, of course, you can anybody who can use a racket to hit, you can basically hit the ball. Mm. But there are rules and um, mm. in the game that you need to follow. And mm. this game needs a lot of patience mm. and the soft touch of it. <laughs> so we always say bring the feminine side of you out in that oh. sense, so you can actually able to control the ball well as well. Right. So that's why um, ESM actually price that we have to go through a proper training program okay. to be certified coaches All in order right. for us to train others to do the right thing right. the right way in that right. sense right. so we have two 
uh, coaches here okay. who are certified, which okay. is under the international certification of IPTPA. Right. And you're one of them? I'm one of them, wow. and Rafis is the other one, and oh. we are both level two coaches. Mm. Mm. So we ensure ourselves that we are certified and we use the methodology, the right mm. way to teach mm. others to mm. play. Mm. Those ones who are serious, even those ones who are passionate mm. just to play the right mm. way in that sense. Mm. Mm. So uh, that's what mm. we pride ourselves with. Mm. Wow, fantastic. If I may add, please, our Melina and uh -huh. Rafflis, uh -huh. they are uh, only nine, level two, nine coaches in Malaysia yang ada level two. Well done, yeah. well done. Yeah. So. Special, special congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you. And, thank and you. continue to do that. I, I, I think, you know, getting a qualification to me is always not so much as people are going to question your qualification, but sometimes it's for your own personal satisfaction that you're doing it right and you're doing it. You're doing something you'd want to do it as well as you can. Okay. okay? Ah, good. Well yeah. done. Con and and continue to to you know to to prosper and encourage others also to take up coaching. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our, our young gentleman, you 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 look like the businessman behind the SM. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the most, uh, I say, I'm the most sporting man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the most sportsman in, in, ah, in the right. SM. Okay, right. So how, you know Faisal for a long while. How did you involve yourself in in ESM and even pick this? Uh, okay, um, we knew each other uh, in 2018. Oh, okay, During that time, I was. Uh, actively become a football advocate. I'm oh. a sport lawyer. Oh, sports uh, lawyer. So wow. what I did uh, for that during that time is I, I'm, I'm handling uh, a contractual issues with mm -hmm. the professional footballers. I see. Those yang tak gaji, those yang oh. kena unlawful termination, oh. those yang kena ambil bullies in sports. Oh. So I, I I fought for that. I see. So how I know Faisal uh, is I've I, I I bring one of his players. During that time, he also is football agent. Yes, yes. So his player got some issues with uh, some local club, mm -hmm. and both of us uh, work each other uh, to <coughs> to fight for the for that player's salary and also mm. some compensation. Mm, mm. So from there, that's that, that's how that's how we know each other. Okay. Oh, okay. And then uh, after that, I see we like kita dah kenal, uh. we know, and then. We, we, <coughs> we share the same vision in sports. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so our vision is, is to establish a proper and I mean a strong and, and a solid sport firm. Mm. Something that that's very bukan like unique, tapi I think it's very rare in sports mm. scene in Malaysia. Yeah. Sport firm kalau dekat I mean US, Europe mm. is 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 already mm. uh kata dah biasa. Mm. Tapi in mm. Malaysia uh, I believe that it's, it's, it's a rare item, mm. uh, so that's why mm. we our vision and mm. our mission is to have a, mm. a proper and, and, and also a world class sport firm. Good, good, so, alhamdulillah. So that, that, and, that's how. And we I love that. that. I love those. I love those type of ambitions, you know. Because sometimes, minta maaf lah. Sometimes people just talk. They say, "Oh, we, should, we can do this. Why? Why are you not doing that?" But you guys seem like. Okay, we well, just do it. Let's just get yeah. up and do it. Yeah, you know? and, 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 and maybe I will remember that's how why we begin for football. Yeah. Mm. So because like Faisal said young 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 we see the potential in this sport. Mm. Uh, mm. and 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 of course we want uh Pickleball ni di access oleh seramai yang boleh in mm. Malaysia. Good. And of course throughout the journey we, we met a lot of wonderful people. Mm, mm. One of them is Melina. Mm, uh, mm. She is the one yang dah ada dulu in pickleball community in Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, and banyak yang dia dia share with us. Yeah. Banyak yang dikenal kan, yeah. connect with us. Yeah. And that's how we think that the, the word that we always use that we want pickleball become a people centric sport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So tu yang kita yeah. and first tu yang kita create yeah. the arena good, everything. Good. Uh, welcome back to the, this episode. Um, you may notice behind. Um, the courts are wet because we suddenly had a, a bout of rain. Uh, but no worries. Uh, one thing I like about or observed about picket ball is that unlike maybe tennis, uh, picket ball just takes a little while to quickly dry up the courts and because the balls are hollow, so you know there's no danger of the balls getting wet or you know even uh, waterlogged. So you, as you can see, um, the, the members who have come out to play here this morning, um, they are just carrying on after the short bottle of rain. 
So we are back uh, on uh, on this particular episode uh, again, exploring about um, you know this growing sport of cricket ball. Faizal, okay, send it down here. Obviously, to set this all up, you know, you needed um, interested parties. Nah, kung kata pa na menyumbangkan mina, menyumbangkan tenaga, and of course financial. How did you first sell this idea? I mean, apa yang you rasa kalau you imbas kembali, what was it that really, you know, made people and sponsors become attracted to this idea that you're promoting, Mas Ito? Okay, uh, first, uh, last year, August, tu, mm-hmm. uh, ni Azai and the team, kita memang sit down, mm-hmm. and kita memang buat the proper plan, okay, okay. how we going to start first. Okay. So, I think that time, Uh, we decided to start by our own, uh, okay. and then uh, using your own means, oh, using yeah. our own because okay. we have our ESN internationally, okay. which is there is where the sports court is, mm-hmm. and then after that we try to uh, try to promote more mm-hmm. to show to Malaysia and also the sponsors of also. Mm. And then we also after that kita buat the next step. The following step is to set up the professional team. Oh, straight away, yeah. Straight away. Wow. Straight away. So we have wow. the apa ni timeline ya. Yeah. Short timeline. Kita ada, mm-hmm. kita ada timeline ni, but then uh, our team said, okay, let's do it. And then and these are way. these are proficient sportsmen or sports persons in their own right. Mm-hmm. The past two. Mungkin masih lagi berkecimpung dalam bidang suka masing-masing, Betul. tapi can become professional picker ball. Betul. Yes. Wow. Betul. Because wow. picker ball ni, there there is an advantage. Uh, uh, kita tak cakap macam if you have the you have a background tennis player or badminton, you can become Pick-up the ball. good player. Okay. But there is an advantage. Okay. 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 So that's why uh, kita collect uh, semua awal-awal tennis player. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then mm-hmm. And then kita masuk ke dalam mm. pro team kita lah. Mm. Kan? And then yeah, the good thing is about this sport pun now pun ramai yang from other sport athlete mm. yang main even the celebrity pun main. Like I nampak dalam your Instagram, you even have apa ni football players. We have our football player which is our friend in Tanzara, Stephen Sidu. And then we also have a few celebrity Miana Se. Oh. And then Yuka Karisma, oh. semua datang dah start main to the ball. So I mean, uh, I think it's a good, I mean good yeah. start lah for yeah. the pickle ball. Yeah. Semua orang dah tahu, semua orang dah tahu yeah. main. Right? I guess it's also a game yang senang pi orang nak pick up ya. It's not too difficult, it's not too strenuous kan. Mm-hmm. Anu saja lah kalau nak pick up other sports tu, you have to be physically fit. I mean, you have to be fit reasonably, tapi not too, not too strict lah kan. Fitness wise. Eh? Betul. Uh, macam Malina said earlier, pickleball ni easy to learn, mm, mm, right? Mm, easy to learn, easy mm, to start, mm, and then court size pun mm, tak apa ni, mm, tak besar sangat. Mm, and then and also the price, ah, especially the price at ESM Arena kita okay. uh, affordable. It's affordable, affordable, affordable. affordable. Right. So maybe okay, maybe. This is a good point. First of all, before we go to the price of the courts, can you just share with us? These are called pedals. Yeah, maybe. These are pedals. Your, your, so young, young, this uh, apa tu? This this apa pedal ni? So this is a standard, a standard um pedal. Yeah, these are standard pedal, and then of course this one is a pro pedal punya lah. Oh, okay. And the material dia lah. Yeah, they have a carbon okay. fiber all, okay. and then okay. there's a. Uh, size okay. of 16, 14, oh. and then as you can see, this pedal it looks like a table tennis. Can, can. Ping pong punya pedal. Yes. Uh, yes. Apa dia panggil? Bat. Bat lah. Ping pong. Bat. Yeah. Yes, because pickleball is combination of three sport: tennis, badminton, and, and ping pong. That's yes. why this one looks like a ping pong yeah. bat. 
Yeah. 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 Can. Uh, so there's a a few material you can get the high range one, medium, mm. or low semua mm. kan. Yeah. So this is this brand I can see is Jula. 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 Yeah. Okay. Jula is uh. is number Yula. one brand pickleball in the world uh. at the moment. Okay. And okay. then uh, and also ESM Pictures Club. As we have our pro shop, and then we are the exclusive distributor, oh. and also our our pro team sponsor. Wow! Yeah, Yula. Yeah, wow. Yula. Sorry, roughly how much do one of these pedal call it pedal bed? Yeah. Pedal, 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 pedal. pedal. Yeah. How much would one cost? Okay. Uh, you can get the two hundred one. Okay. You can get four hundred one. Okay. You can get 600, but this one is 1,371. Wow! Yeah. Wow! This one. Yeah. So it's a good, it's a it's a big investment, lah. But again, yeah, it depends on just like anything, sports, badminton rackets nowadays, even tennis pun kan. Yeah. Okay, and the balls, do they have their own standards also? I mean, I don't know. Much like squash, you've got different dots. For example, tennis is why I guess you got different standard balls. Bola bola pickle ball, picket ball ni ada beza beza. Bola pickle ball ada dua perbezaan. Okay. Baik satu for indoor, satu for outdoor. Indoor and outdoor. Yes. Oh, I see. Uh, and then how to see the difference is uh. Uh, the holes. The holes. Yeah. Outdoor lagi banyak. Okay. Uh. Oh wow. Indoor they scale scale so, like because it. outdoor there's more against the yeah. wind semua oh. kan. Uh -huh. mm. I see. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. no, I, I must say that when I first watched Picket Ball on YouTube, the sound itself, you can hear the tick tock. I mean, the, the sound is like very unusual. Like, yeah. uh, the other thing also I noticed, uh, again, uh, maybe looking at people playing here, they're just hitting the ball across the net. Yeah, okay, fine. But when I think more actual footage of Picket Ball, It's very technical. They they are like dinking the shot over the net. It's like very strategic, okay. and and you need to watch them. It keep it at a certain low level mm. before you can actually volley or win a point. There's a few It's rules. Very strategic, I'm sure. Correct. There's yeah. a few rules. Maybe push Mel. I mean, just quickly explain. describe it. I mean, we obviously yeah. will we'll take some footage later of what it actually looks like in practice. But mm. uh, I know, for example, points wise. It's like scoring like badminton also. Yeah. But there are variations. Yes, variations. Yeah, mm. that's right. Okay. So when it comes to um, the size of the court, as you know, it's uh. the size of the badminton, sim similar to the badminton court. Okay. But we do not have a singles court and doubles court. It's oh. only a doubles court size, oh, even if you are playing singles okay. in that sense. Okay. Okay. So the important thing that you will need to know uh, when you start pickleball is that. Uh, the areas that like non volley zone, we call mm. it kitchen as well. Kitchen. Uh, when you say non volley, means that you do not step into the kitchen. That's the front volley. part. The front yes, part that's the, the front part. Oh. Yeah. So it's slightly larger than the short of the okay. badminton court. Yeah. So it's slightly larger. So You're not area. supposed yeah. to step in unless the ball bounces. Oh. Then you are able to step in. I see. Yeah. Wow. I guess there, there are many little nuances about this game, which was obviously created. Years and years ago, by the rule, by the rule maker, the creator of the sport yeah, itself. Yeah, eh? yeah. But that's yeah. one thing I like also. So it gives me the impression that it's not just about power or speed. It's actually a lot of, you know, tactical maneuvering, kan? And uh, maybe I think gender-wise, it's also a bit more balancing between male and female. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah, that's true. And okay. um, you could you could actually say that some women plays. Uh, better or as better. well as the guys, mm, mm, so it can be mm, quite balanced and mm, in that sense. Mm, so this game is rather interesting mm, because, uh, yeah. like you say, it has rules built mm, in it to mm, stop you from doing things like smashing. You know, mm, um, when you're not supposed to smash, when you actually serve with mm, your partner, mm, you have to serve and stay. Oh. So you can't serve and start running forward and like, start smashing. Not like tennis, one may one may be in front while the other. Oh, is that serving. one receiving end, yes, oh, the one okay. in front receiving and one at the back. Oh, But okay. when you're serving, serving both, are at, both the back. are at the back, okay. both are at the back. You'll so when you you gotta yeah. wait for the ball to bounce back yeah. once before you actually can make your way to the front. Mm. Because a lot of tennis players, what they do is that the minute they serve, they start running front and smash. Oh. So you they stop you from doing okay. that. So these are the disadvantages yeah. that they so yeah. eliminate out, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. But even I think as a leisure, I think even if you, you know, I can see them, you know how they sometimes when you're playing tennis, 
you, you spend more time picking up the ball or even seeing it go over the fence. Yeah, ini yang nampak macam more, more, I'm going to more continuity lah when they, when they play, kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you say, the, the fun part is that the social uh, yeah. uh, players are yeah. basically, well, as long as you can hit the ball, yeah. let's just keep playing yeah. it in that yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Haiza, coming yeah. back to this establishment, uh, feel free to mention. Oh, by the way, uh, for the benefit of um, the audience, actually, I did know Faisal uh, when he was actively coaching uh, tennis. Uh, I, I was one of his students, obviously not one of the better ones, <laughs> but enough to try to pick out the final points as a tennis player. But that's how I came to know Faisal. Uh, and of course, knowing now that you're in cricket ball, um, you know, I, I was very happy uh, as in Chubo Chilita's main sponsor, which is iCoach KL. Uh, we happily uh, agreed to contribute a little bit towards the national team that recently competed uh, in Vietnam. But please feel free, I mean, let's use this platform to also um, commend uh, those others who also helped you. I'd be more than happy to mention them. So, are you allowed to mention maybe one or two names of you know, key key players or corporations that help you establish this spot? Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, ESN Protein, okay. on behalf of ESN Protein yes. and of course ESN Pictures, mm -hmm. we can say thank you so much for the sponsor-sponsor yang dah bersama kita, which is Dihas uh, and Icoach KL. Thank you. Uh, and also ASIC, ah. okay, which is that's our apparel sponsor. And then we have uh, also uh, Sports Deal, we have Isis in Yamaha, okay. okay, we have, uh, we have a Eula, and then we also have a Kovra as a sponsor. Ah. Right. So, hopefully, uh, this pickleball not only ESM, maybe mm. from uh, other teams also mm. mungkin dapat sponsor lagi dengan company-company mm. yang boleh support and then automatically mm. the pickleball will grow very mm. fast in Malaysia will mm. help the development mm. of pickleball mm. yeah. and I'm sure knowing Faisal and of course Jai and yourself Mel I mean I'm sure that there are bigger plans uh, you know not just to be here, but obviously, knowing you, you you you're very um, smart and, and ambitious. Boleh boleh kongsikan sikit apa rancangan rancangan uh, Faizal untuk masa depan yang rasanya akan datang dalam sedikit masa lagi. Okay, first untuk ESM Protein. First kita start dengan ESM Protein. Okay. ESM Protein kita punya plan actually kita punya plan dan goal uh, next year we gonna send our team or at least the uh, two players mm -hmm. will participate the major league tournament oh, okay which is, uh, of course there's in the us and also the biggest in asia is uh, in australia wow okay so and we also are there's a two lagi and big tournament which is the world pickleball league mm. uh, which, uh, scheduled in january in january Okay. That's a one of the biggest. And these are like professional, professional. real professional yeah. leagues. Eh? Yeah. So that is uh, our pro team punya plan. Wow. Uh, but then uh, we already have the plan for this year also, which is mm. we're gonna travel a few countries to participate in the tournament and also training. Mm. Uh, right now we have one player also currently now okay. uh, in the US. Really? Okay. Oh. To play a few tournaments in the US. Mm. And then we also have a plan for July until uh, until end of the year. Mm -hmm. For ESN Pictures, ah. okay. For <laughs> ESN Pictures, we have few plans. Okay. Uh, but what we can reveal now is we will expand more courts. Ah. Hopefully, end of this year. Okay. Right? To other states, can? Yeah. Can? Inshallah, mungkin there's other state or mungkin uh, mungkin in Klang Valley. Yeah. We want to see people, Malaysian people, just to get into the sport people yeah. Right. Yeah. So we are expanding hope. Inshallah. Good. Inshallah. Good. Yeah. Also, if I may add, also we do have ESM Peters Academy. Oh. Uh, okay. Led by our coaches, uh, wow. Melina and also Rafliz. 
So this also we, we will we are going to expand. We were going to have a uh, school programs, mm-hmm. university programs, and mm. also for the publics. Mm. And currently, Marina and Afriz and also Faisal, uh, tengah buat our dedicated uh, pickleball academy, our own module, our own syllabus. Uh, yeah, so that, that uh, only in ESM, Peter's wow. Academy. So. Uh, this memang from their experience, you, you from their are, knowledge. Alhamdulillah, you see, <laughs> yeah. you're very uh, how to say aggressive. You yes, very yes. forward looking, uh. and and that's good. You know, I I like it. I I memang, I guess maybe as a coach myself, an executive coach, I like to see people who are willing to you know to take the plunge and really just go ahead. So so that, that that's our grand design yeah. for no, no, I wish PSM all the best. Club. Sorry lah, I mean I coach KL, we are a small firm, but you know we're willing to support even no more. Problem. Sure. No, no problem, no problem. It's worth our we, while. Yeah. Actually we've been on it, yeah. Sponsor for I coach KL. Tapi nasib baik ada coach tu dapat sikit. You can pamerkan sikit lah. Tapi kalau luka ini coaching lain ni. Ini coaching psychology. Yes, yes, yes. Bila orang tengok I coach KL tu, oh coaching pickleball. Oh ya, pickleball. Oh ya, pickleball. Saya boleh bercabang sekarang. Ini business coaching. Business coaching. So, kita pun macam tadi Ajay uh, ada mention pasal academy, hmm. which is kita punya academy program pun, we start from 7 years old. Yeah. Every Sunday for the kids. Okay. For the kids, start eh? 7 years old. Yeah. Kita work sampai 17 years old. Yeah. And then, every Saturday, kita pun ada ada adult academy program. Hmm. And also, that one for those who work during the weekdays lah. Yeah. But yeah. then, uh, cerita juga during the weekdays. Ah. Uh, for those yang bekerja. Yes. Tapi boleh luangkan masa. Tapi boleh luangkan masa. Hmm. Then, for those yang have banyak masa in the morning, kita pun ada program-program every every day kita ada program. Good. Which is will be lead by our coach Melina hmm. and Rafli. Hmm. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, this has been a great occasion uh, to meet all of you and of course, you know, thank you so much for your time. I know you yourself co- still compete. So yesterday you took part in competitions and you continue to, you know, involve yourself in every facet of this of this sport. So thank you so much, uh, Faiza, Mel and Jai for, for making time with us this morning. Uh, I certainly will love to come back and maybe pick up the sport myself with my family, personally. And not, not your family, your audience friends. pun maybe. Audience, yeah. <laughs> kita boleh buat, kita boleh buat cuba cerita uh, Pickleball. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's meet agree. the Greek. Uh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe the, the pickleball podcasters ke? Boleh? Of course, we are, we are a small podcasting channel, tapi who knows? Yeah. yeah. No, but thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's been a real pleasure. Uh, you know, we really want to be um, you know in touch with latest events and of course very much um, all the different happenings in, in this beautiful country of ours. So thank you once again, Faisal, Mel and Yai. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we look forward to your support. Please, uh, this is a great spot to involve yourself in. So uh, do do pick it up after watching this episode especially. But till we see you again, thank you very much for supporting us in Chumbo Chirita. We look forward to seeing you again. Have a good rest of this week and the weekend ahead. Assalamualaikum, salam sejahtera. Take care everyone. Okay, so quickly, this is called the kitchen. Okay, yeah. Ah. This one, we call kitchen. Kitchen, okay. All right. So the basic rule? So basic rule is, you tak boleh, you boleh masuk dalam ni only when the ball bounce. Only when the ball bounce? Yeah. And then, you tak boleh masuk and wait volley oh. without bounce and then wait inside. No. Okay. Let's say if the ball bounce, uh-huh. okay, if the ball bounce, you boleh masuk and then you must... Must go back again. Go wow. back again. Wow. That's okay. the rule. Oh. Uh, and then, 80% Pick a ball, huh. you're gonna win dalam kitchen. Oh. Because, because bola dia, dia tak bounce macam tennis. Uh-huh. Tennis bola dia bounce tinggi. So okay. orang senang nak kill. Okay. But this one, pick a ball, you play here, bola tu bounce low lagi yeah, low, sikit. Low, low. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, just an example. Huh. Let's play. Slow. Okay, inside there. Yeah, see, the second uh. bounce is slow ah okay ah so that's why it's very hard to kill okay. if the tennis ball ah. ball bounce 
balls go up, then you can whack. Yes, yes. But pickleball, no. You have to, you have to lift it. Yes. You just play here, but then you have to be patient more. Sampai. Ui. Okay. Sampai lah yang you bagi ay tinggi. Okay. All right. All right. Ah. Ah. Okay. Oh, sorry. And then, say the way, give oh. to my body, bang. Ah, oh. Then, give, give high, then can kill. Okay. Ah, so, maintain. Wow, and then, use your arm. 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 Eh? Ah, naikkan. Yes, naikkan. Nice. Naikkan. All right. Okay, but then, the rule is, Okay. Must be must always be within the kitchen. Yeah, but of course you can do it here. Yeah. No oh, problem. Tak ada masalah. Okay. Okay. But then you will face this. Okay. Let's try. You hit to me here without bounce here. Okay. Straight the catch ini. Okay. I will show you what you gonna okay. face. Ah. Uh, I kill. Okay. Ah. But if you bounce so we here, are here we have to be. But, wow. but there's a partner here. Okay. If you play oh, doubles. doubles. Yeah. Uh. But if you keep maintain here, bola tu akan sini lah. Ah, then it's very hard for me to kill. It's very hard for me to kill. Then I kill. Then I kill. <laughs> ah. ah, so maintain here. Ah, alright. Wow, well, it looks it looks a lot easy on TV. Yeah. See, even look, I give high, but look the second bounce. Slow, oh. slow, guys. Wow. Ah, because this is a plastic ball. <laughs> Pro dia, dia bagi so, spin. bola dia tak tinggi sangat. Ah. Halo. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ini And then, ah, the best thing bila yang membuatkan benda ah. uh, pickleball ni lagi ah. short, ah. When, especially when you watch, ah, okay, is when the time player volley volley. Oh. The Dia sound lawan. and the reaction, okay. the speed, okay. itu ada. Example, okay, let's go. Let's okay, go. without bounce. Ah, ah okay. Sorry, okay, okay. Okay, let's go. Try again. No. Wow. There's no backswing. One thing, ah. pickleball, no ah. backswing like tennis. Okay. Short backswing. Mm. Ah, see the sound. One. Ah. Wow. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, Damien, get footage. Ah, one more. Ah. 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 So, <laughs> tapi that's one another thing. Ah. Pickleball, when you stand volley, ah. your reaction memang kena cepat. Yeah. Because bola datang. Yeah. And then you have to get ready if people hit to your face or body yeah. straight away. Ini memang pun tak yeah. laju lagi. Yeah, this one is not. Okay. This one is still okay. What about But, those yang main ke belakang? Okay. Those belakang, ha. Ka, the tactic is, ha. kalau boleh, ha. when you play pickleball, don't ha. stay back. Oh, don't stay back. Always come in front. Always come in front. Oh. So Always kalau, come in front. Because... Kalau dia pukul? Yeah, because court is small. Yes. Okay? Like tennis, you still have time when you do the belakang. But in pickleball, you can never show the front. Because 80% just now, you are going to put point dalam ni. Oh, 80% in this kitchen. Yeah. Region. And then, let's say example, you stay back. Okay. Maybe I'm only stay back. Okay. I take the pressure. Oh. So what I, I can do? Huh? I will focus on My partner will be in the. Oh body. yes, yes, yes. Ha. If yeah. you're if single, then different. Okay. Ha, but single also people come volley because. Come volley. Okay, because let's say you stay back, you stay as it too, lah. Okay. Eh? Okay. All right. Pukul. And then give the ball to me. Okay. Ah, all right. You need to close the space. Okay, so that's why you got to be here. Yes. Ah, ah but then there's a there's a rule also. You only can start volley. Ha. Huh. Fourth ball. Fourth ball. Fourth ball. As in volley, as in yeah. You only even if, even, if, even if a volley shot comes. When they start the point, you huh. start serve. One. One. Receiver. Two. Two. And then I have to stay back, yes. but the receiver can come into volley. I have to stay back after myself oh. because I have to wait the second bounce. Okay. The, I mean the, th uh, the third shot. Okay. I hit. Then yours is four. 
then you can start volley. I can smash. start volley, four shots. Yes. I see. Then after that, me and my partner, I can do whatever I want. Oh. I can volley or I can stay back. But okay. usually, I will come. Okay. The player will come in. So the tactic is really to keep the ball low over the net. Um, be able to be able to um, control it at the net. Yeah. And avoid being Avoid smashed. being high. And then you can remember passion betul-betul. You can sabar <laughs> banyak-banyak. Sampai your opponent bagi you tinggi. Okay. Ah, okay. That's why kalau you tengok at the certain times too, pro player, they are mind to 50, 60 shot slow and macam ni. No problem. Yeah. 100 shot. No problem. Like this, under shot, no problem. Oh, that's right. Ah, that one thingy, ah, then abis. I can kill. Okay. Ah. Okay. okay. Of course, you can volley as long as you not step in. Ah. But I kill. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ah. Okay. Oh, yes. Good. Bagi chance sikit bang, boleh dapat main. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Use your arm. Naik kan naik with your arm. Not. Ah, naik kan with your arm. Okay, contact in front. Ooh. Ah. 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 Conscious sangat pula because yeah. of the line. Because of the line tu. Ah. 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 Push. Oh, this one makes sure get about 30 jamming. Ah, this one will Push, buggy. Ah! Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay? Thanks. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you, Mark. One photo. Boleh. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.